the history of every Flash from DC Comics. Don't worry, we'll try not to go too fast for you. Flash number one is Jay Garrick, a college student in 1938 experimenting with heavy water in his lab. Well, isn't this a humdinger? One second I'm relaxing with my physician-approved cigarette, and the next second I'm the fastest man alive. Thanks, smoking. Stay for smokes, the answer to everything. Jay threw on a ridiculous hat and became the first Flash, but then reality-altering shenanigans. And Jay was wiped from history, but after more reality-altering shenanigans, he is back again. Flash number two is Barry Allen, a forensic scientist for the Central City Police Department. One night in his lab, a lightning bolt struck some chemicals and Barry became the fastest crime fighter with a colorful rogues gallery. I'm Captain Cold. I have a cold gun that'll ice up the roads and keep you from running. Sounds like some cool hijinks. Oh, Captain Boomerang, you may see my attacks coming, but will you see them coming back? Well, I'm gonna turn around your life of crime. I'm the reverse Flash. I'm an evil version of you from the future! Well, we need to reverse that attitude. Also, I use time travel to kill your mom and frame your dad. Dear Lord, when did villains get so dark? Think Jeff Johns. I love origin reboots. So Barry decides to do some reality-altering shenanigans. I will kill every criminal. Oh, uh, I can fix this. I know just what to do. Uh, this is ridiculous and a redundant plot device. I'm tired. Look, man, you signed up for this. Just say the thing. Fine, fine. Reality altering shenanigans. Flash number three is Wally West, the excitable young nephew of Barry Allen's love interest, Iris West, and, oh wait, hold on. Looks like I got this one wrong. <clears throat> Flash number three is Wally West, the son of the reverse Flash and, oh no, it's my greatest nemesis, fan backlash. Uh, oh, okay, okay. So now there are two Wally Wests, uh, one from before Flashpoint and one after. Wally West 1 is Flash again, and Wally West 2 is Kid Flash. But Wally 1 remembers his wife and children pre-reboot, who no longer exist. Then he goes on a journey to find his children, but it doesn't exactly end happily ever after. Well, it's time for me to sit on the Mobius chair and gain the awesome reality-altering powers of Dr. Manhattan. Wait, haven't you spent like the last year looking for your family? Why are you leaving them now? Because Doomsday Clock ended and the HBO Watchmen series did gangbusters, so now we have to capitalize on having this property for as long as we still can. Flash number four is Bart Allen, Barry Allen's grandson from the future. Bart grew up in a virtual reality simulation because his body grew too fast for his brain. Bart was sent back to the past to learn how to control his powers from Wally, and then Wally cured his sped up aging with the help of. Stay for smokes, the answer to everything. Flash number five is Avery Ho, a Chinese American girl who was living in Central City when a speed force storm struck and turned a bunch of people into speedsters. Then the villain Godspeed killed all of them, except for Avery, so she got a fun pink suit and helps out Barry sometimes. She's also got another group she works with. Wow, you're fast. Maybe even as fast as me. Definitely faster. Either way, you should join us on the Justice League of China. The what now? We got a Batman who's fat, an Aquaman who's part dragon, and our Wonder Woman's a snake in human form. It's awesome. I don't know. You join us and nobody can stop you from calling yourself The Flash. Deal! Well, that's it for every Flash in the main DC universe. Now, if you... Oh, sorry. Hold on. Give me a sec. My, my co-writer Max is calling. Hey man, what's up? Yeah, yeah, so I was just going through the history of the Flash script, putting in the visual references for the artists, and uh, I noticed that the script now says that Jay Garrick's hat is ridiculous, and I know I didn't write that, so I guess my question is, where the f do you think you get off saying that sh Oh, come on, I was just- The hat is what makes him the best of all the Flashes. Frankly, not enough superheroes wear hats. The Golden Age had it right. But most of all, this is just a betrayal of my trust in everything I stand for. So I hope you're happy with your little f***ing joke. Because this is the end of our creative partnership. And furthermore, of our friendship, you schmuck.